In this tutorial we'll be creating this transitioning 3D text using Element 3D. Let's get right into it. Okay, so I'm starting off in the composition that I have free text layer here. One thing coming, this and summer. Let's create a solid for our background. Duplicate it and call this element. And create a camera. Go into our element layer and add element to it. And costume layers. Under text and mask, you're going to import your text here. So I'm going to do this one first, second, and third. Okay, now this part might get a little confusing, so I'm going to try to make sense as much as possible. You're going to extrude your text. Now there are a few ways you can work on this. One is with the group numbers or with auxiliary channels. I personally like working with auxiliary channels because it's much easier for me and it saves me a lot of space if I want to add something else in my element layer. So if you right click on your text, you see auxiliary animation and set it to channel one. Let's hit OK and I'm just going to show you what that does. So our group one has auxiliary channels right here. And we have about 10 channels we can use. So basically 10 texts or uh, 10 individual objects. And by going here, we can animate it individually within group one. So that leaves us four groups in total we can use for other stuff. So that was just a quick explanation if you don't know what auxiliary channels are. Let's go back to an element here, go to our presets and select something that fits this. So let's say this one. Cool. I'm going to duplicate it. Make sure it's custom path two here and right click auxiliary channel number two. Our first one is channel number one. And the second one is channel number two. Do the same for the third one. Auxiliary, channel three and costume and costume path three. Okay, so this looks a little confusing. So I'm going to try to make it as easy as possible. Let's go to channel one and channel three here and hide them for now and start off with channel one. So the first frame, we're going to go into the stopwatch of our X rotation here, set this to 180, go a few frames forward and set this to zero. Hit U to bring these keyframes up and F9. I'm going to make a graph like this. So this is how it comes in and about here, I'm going to animate it out. So make a keyframe few frames forward and set this to minus one. And I'm going to make a graph like this. So right now we have it coming in like this and we'll animate out like so. Now let's go to a frame where it's laying down. So right about here. And we're going to set a keyframe on our opacity channel. So hit the stopwatch here from zero, going one frame forward, holding control and using our arrow keys and set it to zero. So it will disappear on this frame like so. Let's move forward here, bring back our channel two. So opacity set to hundred and we're going to do pretty much the same here. Extend rotation, go into our X rotation and we're going to go from 180 to zero. Go into the graph and I'm basically doing the same as I did on the first layer. Like so, okay, this is too fast. Let's have it at 250 actually, just so it spins more. So we're going to go back here and try to align this. So they're both laying down. So say about here and here is where I want the second text to appear. So I'm going to go into the opacity of our channel two, hit the stopwatch, go zero to a hundred in one frame and bring our keyframes, make sure these are aligned. So it should look like this. All right, you can see it's pretty smooth. Another thing you can do here is go into your render settings in your element and make sure motion blur is set to on. Okay, this is pretty smooth. Let's preview this whole thing. There you go. And using the same method, you can do this with channel three, four, and five to basically create something like this. So as you can see, I, I went ahead and add the third group and we have all three texts animated in the same way here, transitioning nicely. Now, another thing you can do if you want to, you can go ahead and make this a little more aggressive. So let's say from minus one, we set this to minus two and here it will start from one. So we get more spin basically. 
So it's depending on your taste and what you want to achieve. But this is how you create this kind of effect. Hope you find this helpful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.